To turn on power, we need to rotate this switch to the on position. This is the control for the SGS 1230SD grinder. This section right here, we have our circuit power, our chuck control. We have six buttons for the spindle up and down. Also, we have the on off for the hydraulic tank, the spindle, and the coolant. We also have our main power indicator. This section here is for our grinding modes. This section up here is for our cross feed. This section right here is our down feed, these four buttons. Next to it is our options for surface grinding. And lastly, we have the keypad that's going to be used to input the values on the DRO screen. After turning on the main power, indicated by this light here, release the e-stop and press circuit power. Now we can move the spindle up, rapid traverse up, or rapid down. We also have slow up and slow down, plus step up, which increments one tenth at a time, up and down. This next section here is grinding mode. The first option is auto surface grinding. All three axes will move, table, cross feed, and down feed. Manual is a completely manual mode to grind. Auto plunge, there is no cross feed. There's only table and down feed movement. This next screen here is our options for grinding. If we select this first one, our spindle will remain at the spark up position after it's done with its cycle. If you press this option here, the spindle will rise to the zero point of the starting piece after the cycle is completed. This option here will rise it up to the zero point plus half an inch. This option here is to enable our hand wheel. This next option, if we select it, on automatic cycle it will down feed on the left and on the right. This option, when selected, it will only down feed on the right when on automatic cycle. On this section here we have our keypad. This first button that we have here, if we select it, it will enable us to put a value on this side of the screen which is a DRO. We could cycle through it with this green button. This next button here is a shortcut to find feeds. Next button is just a clear button. This is just to cycle between the DRO screen. This is a down feed section. When auto start is enabled, the spindle will start down feeding according to the settings here. This next button here will reset our DRO screen to zero. Origin will bring the spindle up or down back to zero. Manual will enable up and down for these buttons. Here we have the hydraulic tank control on, which is going to enable us to move the table. Off. Spindle on. Spindle off. Coolant on. Coolant off. This next section controls the cross feed. This first button we have here is to enable the automatic. The second one is to enable the positioning. This one is going to be for table out. Table in. The two bottom ones are to control the cross feed amount when it, we are in automatic mode. When this option is enabled, there will be a loud buzzer at the end of the grinding cycle. These two buttons will move the table left and right when the hydraulic tank is on and blinking. Do this by pressing twice. Now we can turn on the knob. There will be no table movement. 
until we press left or right. To disable it, you need to press it one more time. And now we're back to normal operation. When we're ready to grind a piece, the first thing we can do is touch the surface with the grinding wheel. Go to manual mode. I'm gonna wrap it down to the piece. Slow down. I'm gonna step down to it. Okay, at that point I'm touching my workpiece. I'm gonna zero out my screen. That is zero position now. Next thing we can do is set the travel limits. Move the table. If I have enough clearance there, I would hit this button, position setting. It's gonna blink. I'm gonna move the table back until it clears the piece. Press position setting again. The light will turn solid. Now we have our limits for the crossfeed. Next thing we can do is come down to the options and select what do we need. We're gonna select, after we're done grinding, it's going to go back to the zero point plus C, which is half an inch. We're also going to down feed on the left and on the right, plus we're turning on our buzzer. Now we're going to turn on our hydraulic tank, our spindle, and turn on the table. Now we're going to input all the values for our down feed. First we press this button here, it's going to enable the screen, see it's blinking. So now, we're going to take down 20 thousandths off our work piece. Scroll down to the next one, rough feeds, I'm going to leave it at 10, which means 1,000 at a time for rough feeds. Next is our fine feeds, I'm going to leave 1,000 for fine feed. Fine feeds. Set one, it's going to take one tenth at a time. Spark out passes, we're going to leave it at two. Now, we're going to go here, set up automatic, grinding mode, auto surface grinding. Automatic. Once that is set, we need to give the cross feed a direction, either in or out. We can control that amount of cross feed by increasing or decreasing this number here. 44. Slow it down. Next thing we can do is start our auto down feed. Once it's selected, we're going to be able to see here the down feed. That was our first down feed.